It must be a sieve. A sieve that's not cleaning. Because we're getting nothing but dirty water out of here. Um, drop the slime and oil. That's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Okay, so we have water going through here, or, well, polluted water going through, and it goes into... Where's the sieve? Do I have a sieve over here? I do have a sieve. How does it get there? <laughs> it's going... Oh, it's going back into this. Okay. Um... I don't know why I did that initially. Maybe it was, it was a pressure relief valve of sorts. But yes, this is what we need to do right here. Good. It's coming back. We're gonna have some messes to clean. It's fine. Oh, gross. <laughs> Just clean it all up, damn it. We do have some dirt over here, though, thankfully, but yeah. Wow, okay, so drop slime in oil. That's not a bad idea. We should try that. We have plenty of oil here that is... What was it? 200 what? What did she say? Oh, it's right here. Uh, 116, 125. It's not quite hot enough, though. Am I okay? Boy, I'm freaking out. Not really, but... Well, Declan, I need to make dirt. In order to make dirt, I need to heat up slime to uh, 125 degrees Celsius in order to convert it from slime into dirt. How does that sound? What? <laughs> Please tell me you guys heard that. Get out of here. <laughs> he said, I'm just kidding. He said, nerd. I know you said nerd. I heard you say nerd. You're the nerd. <laughs> that nerd. What the? F Boy, don't you say that. That's not funny, okay? That's not something you joke about. You got me? Okay, good. Don't do that again. Okay. No, he said he was going to slap me. He's, he's, well, not like that, but. But basically. So, like, no, 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 you don't, you don't say that. He'll learn phrases from, uh, from shows. And he'll repeat them. And so, like, that was the first time I ever heard him say that. He was like, oh, don't make me slap you. He doesn't really know what that means, so... <laughs> It's like, just because you heard it on a show doesn't mean you can say it to me. Or, because I'll slap back. Uh, let's get, see, is it clean? Good. So dirt, 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 dirt. We got some dirt coming from over here. Um, whenever they decide to get to it. Parakeet children, yeah, for reals. Uh, they've got plenty of dirt over here. So we have lots of dirt that's coming to us right now by way. We have 22 tons of dirt. Hold on a second. How do we have 22 tons of dirt already? Did we really get 20? Did, wait, hold on a second. Did we really get a ton of dirt from... Just from what we've done so far, we've got a ton of dirt. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. This will buy us a ton of time. It was the plates. Yeah. We got 22 tons just from breaking down. Not even... Look how many plates are still not broken down. Yeah, they take- yeah, it's, it's too much. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. It's like, I mean, what is it? Let me see. Cash your plates. Uh, if you make it out of d d dirt, sandstone. Dirt. 800. Yeah. We're gonna be good. Once we clear all this, we're gonna be good for hundreds of cycles, actually. I thought I was doing myself a favor doing that. I have tons of dirt. <laughs> I have tons of dirt. This is use whatever, man. It's fine. Uh, how are we doing over here? Negative uh, temp shift plate is now over or under uh, negative twenty degrees. So good. It's starting to cool off. Ooh, ice. And once that once that gets to like negative fifty or so, we'll start figuring out whether or not we want to pump some like petroleum through there and run that through the base to get rid of some of this like little hot spots here and there. But look, we're already starting to cool down the base a little bit, um, simply by restricting the amount of airflow they could get. And you know what's crazy? Actually, right now. Because we are so, uh, because the 
pressure in this room, in this space, cavern here, is so low. Um, we could go and grab, like, all of this gas that we have in here, which is all oxygen at 30 degrees, and just dump it in here, and it would just instantly cool this whole room. So, but we don't want to do that because the reason why it's warm is because something in here is generating heat. All we have is in here is, uh, is bathrooms and beds. We have a boom box that's turned off. We have an arcade cabinet that might be generating some heat. So there's not really a lot of heat generators in here. So it must be something in the pipes. It has to be the pipes or something that's leaking. Oh, that's 150 degree water. That is probably the problem. 150 degrees. We should put a tuner in there. Ban hot shower. 150 degrees. You want to take a 150 degree shower, man? <clears throat> Worry about that second fridge. That's as I was doing. Hmm. Steamy baths, for reals. So, because the water is chilling in the pipes, it's just creating just an endless amount of heat. Um. I would say even like the oxygen is being carried all over the place. Like this is 33 degrees. Yeah, it's definitely not the oxygen that's doing it. This is cold, cold air that's coming through. Look at this oxygen over here. It's negative 24 degrees. <laughs> it's coming out of here. What? 33 degrees for fuck's sake. What is this coming out? Negative 20. Man, this is cold. Okay. So we are, uh, we need, we need to solve the water, the hot water issue. We could technically trickle water through one of those uh, little spawn setups, little wheeze wart rooms. We could trickle water through there, oops, and let it slowly cool, but we, we would need to find a balance that would not leave, or that would uh, provide enough water to everything, to all of the different um, utilities. How do I measure the amount of water that these guys are using on a daily basis? The oxygen was not included in this game? It's not! I have to make it! <laughs> I've made it all, man! <laughs> I've been saving up for a rainy day! <laughs> um, let me see. God, I wish there was a, uh... Is there? No, not really. Hi, huh, Chaos! Boy, you were causing me all kinds of shit earlier today! Or, uh, a few days ago on the, uh, episodes. Uh, yeah, boy. Kill me, man. Hi, Donut. It's not time yet. But I love you, though. Hi, right, good boy. Good boy. You wanna come up and say hi? Up. 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 Oh, oh, God. Chonkers. Oh, God, so chonk. Oh, here. Oh, here he is. Let's say hi, everybody. You want some of my... You want some drinks? He doesn't want that. <laughs> hi. Hi. How's it? Give them an outhouse that doesn't water and the poop can be turned into dirt. I know, but that's just... Oh, hi. Oh, you the best. Oh, I know. I know. I feel like we haven't spent any time together. Now that there's so many people home, I feel like we don't really have a lot... Him and I don't really have a lot of us time together. Oh. Oh, oh, I squeeze. Ah. Hi, right, what you doing? What are you working on? What are you working on? Hmm? He looks naked. He does. He does look naked. He's got so much skin, right? So much skin. I like that, his one ear still kind of pops up. Still no therm. Hey, therm. Ah, uh, he's such a. He 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 wants to be loved so bad. He wants to be held and everything so bad. But I'm always running around doing stuff, huh? No time to chill. Oh, poor guy. He gets playing a gen love, though, now. Alright, you gonna go? Go on. Oh, okay. Good boy. Ah, oh, 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 I can't hear. There you go. Ah. He's the best dog. Is that a Call of Duty World War II hoodie? Hell no. It's just green. <laughs> Although, I mean, like, uh, I got this specific sweater. Um, it's the same brand as my Nine Inch Nails one that I had a long time ago. And I switched, I, I found the, I looked at the, you know, the, the tag and I went and uh, 
um, found the the maker on Amazon. So I found basically bought the exact same sweater again because they're like the fit. It's like a, it's kind of a thin like T-shirt almost, which is nice. Uh, I saw I saw that. Why? Thank you so much. <laughs> I was wondering if that's what it was. Um, but yeah, I like the T-shirt material is really nice and thin. <clears throat> anyway, so I had the so I switched from the nine inch nails one to the black one, and then I ended up. Uh, uh, going back and getting a green one because I like the fit. The fit's good. The material's good. Like, you know, here in, here in Northern California, like, you know, you, I can wear sweaters. I mean, it's it's April and it's still, especially inside, like, it's still sweater weather. We don't have the AC on or anything. It's just like, it stays cool. So, light sweater weather, man, almost year round. Get that dog a desk bed and his own cam. If he would stay in it, but he wouldn't. He goes outside. We tried that at the very beginning. We first got it. Remember we had like a little pen set up so we could like keep an eye on him and everything? That didn't work out. You want a t-shirt hoodie so bad? What is it? I'll find out for you. I got you. I got you, man. I got you. Don't worry. Let me see. He's going to be so needy when boy and wife go back to normal days. He probably is, but we'll probably take a couple days to just like chill with him. It is Independent Trading Company. Independent trading company. If you go to Amazon, there's like six. They have like six different colors or whatever. That you could choose from. I had a yellow one, like a mustard yellow one that I thought looked good. But then I got it and I was like, this not, does not look good. Undressing on stream. I know. All right, let me take another drink. So we are like rich with dirt now because we got rid of all those temp shift plates. But boy, we still have a problem with the commutes and everything. Man, I'm trying to hook these guys up with some good commuting, but damn. Complain, complain, complain. Uh, water. Let's figure out how we're going to cool this water. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's converting from steam, right? There's a couple ways we could do it. We could do it. Um, we could get a tuner going. We have the power. We have natural gas like for days. So we could get the power. So we can have a tuner running. But I don't want to necessarily have it running on itself. I want to cool it enough that I can turn around and use it. Oh, you know what? Let's put a... Let's put a tuner. I'm gonna get a gold, sure. And we'll put it here underneath. This... Or maybe we should put it down here, actually. How much power do they take? I have one over here. Oh, I thought I had one here. Oh, the, the thermal regulators. Not the same. Let's put them here. Let's go and put. Let's see, utilities, thermal container. Make it out of steel. Boom, baby. Steam can't melt steel. Steel beams, right, guys? X! Uh, last time you get to me a sub, this time a hoodie! This stream is the best! Oh, man, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm able to hook you up with some fashion sense. Just can't hook you up with any haircut sense. That's for sure. Um, if I cool water coming out of here directly, I'm going to be basically feeding the electrolyzers cooler water, which is like whatever. But I can also have a split coming off of that and going through here. Now, the reason why I want to cool it first is because if I, if I don't, then I'm going to have 163 degree water going through here and it's going to just, it's just going to decimate this area. So I do need to cool it first. Where's my nearest power supply? 13, okay, so here we go. So 1,320 on this line. Is it the same? It is. So I could, it's like using zero load right now. It's probably because of all of these. Uh, yeah, it's because of these. So this is what, 240, 440? Yes, yeah, so that's that's a significant amount of power there that it's going to be uh, pulling, 960. Um, uh, oh, sorry, 480, 480. That's gonna be pulling from this right here. And also this one right here. So yeah, it's so 600 there and, the, and this is not even on. Yeah, so we could probably, we could afford the power. We just need to, we could cool, could we do two of them? Let's build one and see. 
Why are they walking over there, dude? <laughs> it drives me nuts. I uh, we put them like on top of each other. It was like one, two. Let me see. Steel. Fill one first. We'll put a mesh plate. I mean, put some mesh plates underneath. Let's get power to it. And then we'll see how much this one cools. And then oh, oops. Let's uh let's reverse that. I don't know what that was, it just finished. Thermocle tuner, so we'll flip it. There. Don't the tubes need to be powered? The tubes? Uh yes, but they they have enough. Um they can't go when, when I see a dupe walking this way. It makes you wonder, like, if they landed here to do a job here and then went over there. Because the whole reason why I ran this tube all the way down here was simply so they could come over here and collect, like, sleet wheat grain. And that's it. Yeah, the exit doesn't need that. The exit just dumps them out. So, seeing a dupe go from left to right, it's like, it's suspect, but from right to left, I totally understand. Anyways, let me see. Um... This is a fashion brand, do we have my size? Oh, Really? That fucking sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. If I go up to here and then go and reconnect here, we'll see what kind of, what we're dealing with in terms of, um, cooling power. Is this enough drains to, like, power this? <laughs> We're really milk of the drains thing. <laughs> finish it up, finish it up! Break this, though, break this. Why does that say it needs an input? Oh no, that's the output, Never mind. duh. It's just pointing at the input. Oh, they're going to sleep. Hey, it's like 1111. Oh, so close, so close, so close, so close. Get it, get it, get it, get it, go, 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 go. Good, so water's going in at 165.2 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes out at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Still not quite cold enough. I could create a loop to kind of keep, keep it going. Sorry, keep it going. But I do need to continue to provide liquid for the electrolyzers. So I can't necessarily stop it just to make a loop to make it work. I need to cool it passive as it goes through. So, so that's that was a great test for the one thing, but I need a second one. And that, is that steel as well? What did I make this out of? Thermocle tuner, steel, good. And then what we'll do is we'll more liquid pipes through this fish. Good, and then the output will go directly in. Good. Oh, power, I need power. Oh my god, they're 1,200? <sighs> I didn't know they were 1,200 each. Dude, is that for reals? <laughs> I haven't... I, I, I couldn't tell you the last time I set one of these up. I've been using, like, ice biomes. Um, wow! What do I do then? This is not the solution then. This is not the solution. Because, I mean, I could cool it 20 degrees, but fucking so what? You know? How long would it take to get through all of this liquid in this in this area? I mean, it doesn't matter because we're consuming the area, consuming liquid as fast as we're pulling it out using the drains. Yeah, I could touch the main power cable, but look where the mains is though. <laughs> like it's far, man. Uh, um. I could, I mean, I do have insulated joints now, so I could get mains in here somehow. Oh, I could, yeah, I could, you know, I could shuffle some things aside and make that work. I could. But that's a lot of power, man. I need to cool, I need to cool this damn liquid. Let's try it. Let's do it. I know I know I know a transformer, yes, but uh I still need to 
like I mean, well, transform is like a helper. It needs it needs mains. It needs like direct line. So what I got, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this down here and just reconnect that there. We're gonna kill this power here. Well, we're not gonna kill that yet. Uh, kill this and we'll run heavy wall wire across. Uh oh shit. The uh. It, Oh god. Oh god, I just put tiles. Oh Jesus! <laughs> All the way out to space. Let me cancel everything. Oh my god. Let me see. Construction, do I have any more? I got him, I got him. Okay, good. Okay, back to business. Heavy water everywhere! I know that's the worst thing you could have, like all over the place. It's such a waste. Okay, so we'll do this. And then we'll bring it over. And then we'll build a, uh, or we'll build it down one more. And then we'll have just a gap here. And then we'll have this go <laughs> over and down. Maybe we'll actually make an adjustment to some other things here. Let me go and cut this. Is it not going to replace that? Is that heavy wire conductive? No, I don't want conductive. Oh, there's a door there. Oh! Bollocks. Um, do I want to force him to go this way in order to come over here? Or do I want to just cut this thing up? Mm. No, I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm going to cut all that. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to trim all that stuff. Like, I know that there's heavy oil wire, like, like overlapping and all that. Like, all that stuff's going to get trimmed. Uh, I just got to find a better way to get it across this gap here, which is going to be now this way. Like that. And we kill this. And then we kill this and uh, this. There are so many jobs to do all over the place. Bah. <laughs> yes, I know, it's fine. Actually, that's long as well. I don't even know what's what's which. What what is which? Let me clear some of this out. Good, good, good. Go and kill this. And then what we'll do is we'll get rid of this building, get rid of this building. And then we'll replace it with one of our handy dandy insulated. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, uh, heavy insulated. Oh, there it is. Insulated. Watch, wait. There it is. Gold and whatever. We're gonna get we're gonna get uh, power down there, some heavy power, and then the, oh we gotta clip that too. And then this has got to be redirected a little bit better. Just go down and over, attach it there. Don't need this or this. Kind of clean that up a little bit. And then I guess we can go ahead and just kill all this. Oh god, they're both running. <laughs> That's why I'm just destroying everything. Oh my god, let's do this. There. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to cut this out here. Nine. And then we'll cut this. We're also going to trim this out too. And then power. Everyone insulated. There we go, heavy wall wire. And then we could go straight across. Boy, this is exp Oh, is that gold? No, don't go back. Oh god, did I make this whole thing out of gold? Stop. <laughs> Stop, what's wrong with you? They got an iron or something. Damn. There we go. What are they keeping my eye on any sudden dupe deaths? I got no dupe deaths. We're good, man. We're good. There we go. Now we have a direct mains line to this. Look, Declan. So I have two 
two thermal aqua tuners right here. You see them right here in the water? One, two. And they take water out of here and they cool the water. Kind of like how you make ice, you know? You cool the water until it turns into ice. And so I'm going to cool that water so that it goes up this pipe all the way over here. And it goes into here. And we can get cooler water for the base. How's that sound? Good? And yeah, it's, he'll eventually, eventually I'll get him interested. He'll get, he'll be like, he'll be like, oh, Dad, I'm gonna play that game. And then I'll be like, nerd. Exactly right, nerd. <laughs> Learning modes, everybody. There's a mod that has some extra high little wires. Uh, that's some extra high little wires. Oh, are they? Well, we're not, we're not, we haven't even used um, uh, insulated. Like, there's another layer of wiring that we've not even used yet. The conductive wire. So yeah, there's, there's heavy watt conductive wire. We're not even to that point yet. So, like, I mean, look at our usage. Our potential load is 1.2 kilowatts, and we have 20 kilowatt wire. So here we go, 3.6k. Yeah, we're totally good. Okay, so now we have. No, we're just we're gonna we're gonna pay for this later. You guys know this, right? We're gonna pay for this later. We're pumping so much power into cooling down this to what? What are we getting? 122 degrees out of what? 166 degrees. I would hardly call that a... Oh, uh, you know what though? We're, it's 115 degrees. It's still not bad though. Actually, 150 degrees, I can deal with that. That's pretty good. It's gonna get backed up here, which is fine. And then we're gonna run some pipe through here. But we're gonna regulate that shit. <laughs> like, we're seriously gonna regulate it. Uh, because if it gets too hot in here... Oh, is there a spot there that we missed? How do we miss that? Is that a spot? Let me see. Ice. Look at that. Has normal size wire, the 5k low limit, bigger transformer. Oh, man. That's too much. Uh, let's do this. Look at valve. So we'll control the valve here and we'll set it to something, some stupidly low number. And then we'll run pipe through here. And this is going to be just regular ass pipe. And we'll go, um... And we'll come out. And then we have to attach it to something. Wherever the main... Oh, there it is, right there. We'll just jump the bridge here. And that'll get it into the system. I don't know if this is gonna be enough water to do whatever it is we need to do, but the less water we have, or the cooler the water we have waiting in the wings, like waiting in the pipes, the better off we are. So, let's set this thing to some stupidly no number, like 100. Basically nothing, right? And we'll let it trickle through. And then, let me see. This is starting to back up, which is good. Provide a little bit of a break here. But once we get this moving and we get this set to some, you know, whatever we need it set to, it should, you know, it should not freeze in the pipes. Uh, not at 170 degrees. I don't think it will. What we'll do is we'll add spots of insulated, like that right there, uh, to certain areas if, we, if it starts to freeze in the pipes. We'll know very quickly. <laughs> this is something that we'll definitely have the answer to very, very fast. Oh, damn. I gotta go break the seal, guys. How about this? Let me slow it down a little bit. You're waiting for this to get finished and this up here to get finished. And then we should see some nice cold water coming through. It's going to go in at 116 degrees. I'll leave this right here so you guys can tell me what it is when I get back. Or I'll see you when I get back. I'll be right back. Breaking the seal. Oh. Oh, oh, what the fuck? What the? It's not done yet. <laughs> uh, what is that? All that water flowing through the pipes? I think I need to go to the path. Yeah, that, that's exactly me. <laughs> Alcohol definitely did not help. Um, what's going on here, guys? Uh, can I not reach that? They can reach that. There's a ladder right there. Oh no, they can't reach that. Oh yeah, they can. Ha! 
high tech bomb. Oh, it is unreal. It's unreachable. Look at that. Huh. There, fixed. I wonder if the oxygen is coming through is uh, any cooler. 71 degrees coming out. So yeah, it looks like it may be a little bit cooler. 103 up here, maybe. Pfft, who knows? <laughs> I can never figure that part out. Zap, zap. Zippity zap, but that is one. By the way, our food supply is going up. We fixed that problem too. Another permanent fix. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I really want to see what this does. If we, if we could provide cool water to the rest of the base, we will have solved so many problems. Like, we have oxygen under control, we have liquid under control. There we go. So it's going to stay at 112 degrees, okay? Um, oh, those are, those are huge blocks though. Hold up. Is that, is that actually regulating it? It, it is, right? That's to a hundred. Oh, they didn't come and change it. <laughs> okay, we got the chance. This is a count. This is just a test. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is just a test. It didn't drop at all, really. Here we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay, okay, okay. 112 degrees. We'll try it again. <sighs> Comes out at negative 40 something. Yikes. Well, the good news is because there's a room for it to expand, it's not going to burst the pipes. Uh, if it was 10 keys and it was frozen, then it would burst the pipes, but it's not. Um... So we're just moving like just you know ice cubes down the thing here uh but is it enough to keep the the water supply good let's let's go ahead and step this and let's let's let it run on just oh the bottom is running off of its own supply oh no 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 it's, it's actually running off of this too cold damage okay i've seen cold damage everywhere so we should probably First thing we should do, not insulate it. Let's uh, increase this to a thousand. It's still on emergency because I want it done now. Did he do it? Oh, he did do it. Okay. Okay, so now it's going in a little bit, a little bit bigger. Uh, 170 degrees coming out at. 61 degrees. There we go. That's what we want. That's ideal. The question is, is it going to be too much for this room to take? You can see the temp shift play. It's already losing. Uh, it's, it's losing quickly, actually. So we have to find a balance. We have to find a balance between... Let's slow it down a little bit because it is losing. Um, we have to find a balance between how much water we pump through and how much... Uh, how much is going to be exposed to this room. So, yeah, I mean, 63 degrees is nice, but unnecessary. It's a little too, a little too much. So what we'll do is we'll go through, we'll add, I think, I think that also that this, about this 1000 is probably going to be enough to support all the bathrooms eventually. Right. I think, I don't feel like they're going through a thousand grams of liquid per second, you know? So I think that's probably good. Oh, pipsqueak. Okay, we'll make sure to keep him happy for it. All right, so what we'll do is, I'm gonna add some insulated pipe to the middle, to the, to the inside here. So we'll go like insulate, insulated, like this. And we'll just do some big chunks like that. And that'll get done pretty quickly. And that should slow the, yeah, cause this is very slow. You can see right there, 40, negative 45.2, negative 45.1, negative 45. So I think if we get these in here, this will probably help significantly. Of course, it's a uh, hot, hot materials I use for the uh, for the pipes, but it's cooling very quickly. Good. Does that dupe have a bloom? Yeah, he's super happy. My dupes are so happy. I don't think I've seen that that stress level has been at zero percent. I think this entire week or stream, depending on where you're watching. They take baths with the balloons. <laughs> yes, they do. All right, so all that's gone. Good. Question is, it comes out of what? 84 degrees. That's great. That's awesome. I, I'm I'm totally down with 84 degrees. Uh, the question is, is it still doing work to my temp shift plates? 
Oof. It does not show any sign of slowing. I mean, the, the pipes are still green. They're slowly turning blue. Once those pipes, once these pipes right here match up with the, the these are cooling. The gas pipe, the, yeah, the pipes are, it's like a pipe is cooling still. So the material is still too warm. Ah, look, negative 35.2. Okay, so it's slowed down significantly. We don't want it to... We might have to tailor it a little bit. Uh, the, the actual flow a little bit. But it's definitely slowed down a lot. It's like, look, negative 35. The temp shift plate's the most important part because that's the consumable. Everything else can cool itself. But once that temp shift plate reaches a certain temperature, which I think is, you know, gonna be, you know, 32 degrees Fahrenheit maybe, something like that, uh, it's gonna turn into liquid. And then, you know, it's no longer helping us at all. Um, so we want to make sure to keep that in check. So it's negative 34.8. What was that? Uh... <laughs> Negative 34.7. So I think if we kick it down a little bit. Let's try 800. This might be the balance we need. Oh, this is even uh, worse, actually. <laughs> this is good news. It means that we're generating more liquid than we're using. It's bad news because we have liquid that's backing up into the into the frozen uh, domain there. Uh, so it's gonna start freezing in the pipes. Well, then that means we're using less. <laughs> let's set. It, let's remember. Let's remember eight hundred. Let's set it to zero, just to empty those pipes. We could probably do the math based off that, actually. They changed it? They did. Okay, good. Okay, so let's keep an eye on these pipes real quick. Is that zero? There's no flow at all. Okay, so what are we looking at here? So... Okay, can we do the math? There's 10 keys of water. 10 keys, just 10. I can't do the math on that. <laughs> How do you even do it? Let's see. 10... Seven, so there's ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It's slowed down because they're not using the restroom. Have our buffer tank on the output side. That's a good idea. The automation connected to the valve on the output. Do these little valves have, have uh, automation? They don't. Uh, but I can put a cutoff though. That would stop it from freezing, for sure. Let's find a good balance first, though. But look, yeah, we're not... We're not... I, yeah, you're right. A tank is going to be the best way to do this. We can squeeze a tank right here, actually. This would be the best place to put it, actually. This room is 85 degrees. So let's put... Look at Reservoir. Boom. Then what we'll do is... I still want to figure out the right flow for this. Uh, if this gets full and then shut off the valve... Yeah, that would actually just solve it entirely, wouldn't it? But I want the temperature flow to be right. I think I think we got the temperature flow right. It's just kind of hard to tell. It was it 800? So we could, we could lower it to 500, actually. Kind of running out of time today, so you know we gotta, we gotta get get snappy. Let's go. Actually, oh, sorry. Uh, airflow tile. Let me see. Then we'll run pop a pipe into the input. Let's come with the output, and then we'll snip this here. It's gonna go all the way through. Uh oh. I guess because it got too cold or something. Was there anything even in there? I didn't notice when that actually triggered. 
Anyways, I uh, so that will store a lot of water, and then what we'll do is we'll 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 move this valve back, and then uh, let's see, we'll give us a little bit of room for our setup here. We'll build this all again. So the first we'll have a valve, and the valve would just obviously control the flow. Um, and we'll put that. We'll do that at the front here. Oops. Well, first let's get a shut off. The shut off will just go here, and then I'll just uh, yeah, that's fine. And then we could do the valve. The valve could sit just a little forward here. And then, and then knock these two guys up. This up. And then we're going to immediately tell this thing to go to zero for now. Because I don't want I don't want that much. To we'll see immediately set it to zero for now. Oh, it's not going through it anyways because of the uh, because there's no power for this thing. That's right. Forgot about that. Let's see. Conductive wire, ten watts. So expensive. And then automation, what we'll do is we'll attach this to this guy here. What is this? We'll go across the top. And that will turn that off when it reaches 100%. Yeah. And then turn on, maybe turn it back on when it gets to like, yeah, like 10%. I don't like going to zero. Zero is scary. But yeah, you're right, this will add a little bit of a nice little buffer. Okay, good. So now it's technically on, but there's no liquid going through. So let's go and set this to 500. This is going to be something that's going to take several cycles to, to figure out the exact number that we need to go through here. Uh, exact number we need in order to get 57 degrees. What? Anyways, yeah, so... Uh, don't get 100 in this room and empty the pipe. It closes like 98%. Let's try to do that. I don't mind, like, having a little bit of buffer on either end at all. It was like 95. But yeah, no, you're right. We want a little bit of space. So good. So that's all hooked up. That's, uh, talking to it. Good. Then we could go and lower this. We don't need this. 9, 500. So the, the question is, if we get it just a little bit backed up, it's fine, right? Uh, but I still don't want to, I don't want to overwhelm what's in here, you know? Like, this room is very important. And right now, the temp shift clay is at negative 36.9, so it is still... I can't remember what it was before. It's technically still warming. Hmm. <sighs> My alt type, <laughs> alt tab time out of Elite is slowing me down. <laughs> We're windowed. Or... Go to VR! That way you can just have me in the corner and you can watch a stream. You know, like on your under control, you know, deck or whatever and your control panel and... Uh, yeah, 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 just do that. I really wish we could like flush all this liquid out of the system and then start over and see what we're, you know, what we're working with in terms of, uh... You know, in terms of actual... Needs. Because we're starting to back up. See, we're starting to back up. So it's like, why am I... Why am I even pumping it through that much? If only you could put a stream on one... You can! No, you totally can! You can use, like, Overdrop or any of those other apps that do, like, the overlays. And it will add... Your, uh... It'll add, like, Netflix or YouTube. Or, for, in my case, I always add chat to, like, the back of my wrist. But you could put it in a fixed position inside of your ship. And so some people do, they have like Netflix running on one of the monitors in the ship. You know, I mean, it's, it's not real, of course, but I mean, it's, you know, it's VR, so. Man, I, 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 I always have these like, every time I talk about Elite, even though I've never really fully played it, I always want to play it. Cause just because I want that VR experience in a space game. Like I wouldn't if I'm if I'm sitting there for like three hours just like cruising across you know the the galaxy doing deliveries or whatever like and watching Netflix you know the thing like I feel like that'd be so relaxing wouldn't it man just checking your checking your meters and shit every once in a while 
The best space truck C? Exactly. All right, temp shift plates are at negative 33.9, which is scaring me a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and um, lower this thing down to 250. Now! Now! Our food levels are good, though. Okay, that's gonna take a while for that to actually function, but, um, man, yeah, I wish there was a way to have a meter on, on, on certain, on certain lines, like a, you know, like a, like a valve, like a pipe, and measure how much liquid passes through over a certain amount of time. I could do that with power. Uh, with power, I could measure the power and then have it trigger like an LED. And have it just like, you know, create like a little toggle where it just, you know, continues to tick the alley up and up and up and up until we can see. It's like over the course of, I do that in my other save, it's like over the course of so many cycles, it's only broken the threshold X number of times. But it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't really, it's not really additive. It doesn't really add the amount of liquid or whatever that's passing through. Or power in my case. Uh, once they had a passenger mission, they started playing Elite. I'm like, <laughs> like Uber. <laughs> uh, I'm out in the black exploring. I haven't landed at a station in months. That's amazing. The game had a dozen times since it came out. I think it's complicated for me in my old age. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's that complicated. Well, I don't know. I haven't really like de dedicated a lot of time to it. So there is that in real. It's called a balance valve. You're a plumber. Oh snap. Um, I'm gonna write that down. Let's see, Nitsut's electrician, Ditch is a, is a plumber. I'm gonna have all you guys on speed dial. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me see. Is this thing actually is it helping a little bit? If we can see this temperature go up on this temp shift plate, then I'll feel better about this. Right now, it seems pretty steady. Thirty negative thirty two point eight. Oh god, is it gonna balance out somewhere? Oh, it's still going down, man. The Wii's war it's chilling, negative 35.8. I, I can't imagine the temp shift plate is gonna, the, there's no way the temp shift plate is going to go above zero degrees. There's no way. Because there's just too much, there's too many other components in here that it's our, that are maintaining temperature. Like that Wii's war is negative 35.5. Is it getting warmer? Okay, yes it is. Shit. Are we getting backed up? Uh, a little bit. Let's uh, let's take this to 200. What up, Omega? Water's coming out at 12 degrees, though. That's pretty chill. This base is going to get so cold. So cold. Oh, the hydrogen is creeping on us, though. Gotta do something with that, eventually. We still, we're still not done with the dirt, the passive dirt collecting project. We're not done with that. We have 155 tons of it! Holy crap! Jeez! Try to find a mic latch output on my mic with a new desk. Can't find it anywhere. It's killing me. Mic latch output? Fire and make some amazing shit that I remember. I can't shoot things there like in Doom and Warframe. Bro, I used to play Warframe? I heard that game is not doing well right now. Hey, Kai, you have too much. You have too much invested in that title. Man. There's no way. There's no way. Boy, I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Okay, so what's, uh, do I need to address this over here? I don't think so. There's like some clean water going in and out over here. It's getting used for basically just garbage and then it's getting pushed back through to what? To go over here, which actually we should probably supply it with more water over here. So we could go ahead and because we're not using it elsewhere, we can go ahead and increase this one. Probably be like this is like 7,500. 
There, done. That'll fill that line a little bit more. Because we're not using it for uh, toilets and shit. Oh, wow, getting cold damage. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! What'd I say? There's a balance to be had, right? We have to figure out what the right balance is between getting the water cold, and which is too cold now, 13 degrees. So we could go ahead and add a couple more, I guess. Uh, let's see, plumbing. We'll add it here. Mm, no. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, like that. We'll just have one single line all the way across of just standard pipe, and that's it. We just gonna wait. Just gonna wait, wait, wait. Okay. So now the water's coming out at 40 degrees. You can see, because every time we lower the amount of pressure going through, it cools faster. So, if we lower it down to 250, then it's gonna be, you know, what was it? 12 degrees or some shit? And that's unnecessary. But when we were at, uh, 750 or 1000 or whatever, it was like 80 degrees. So we need less standard pipe, more insulated pipe, which is good, because it's gonna help the, uh, the room stay cooler for longer. And also cool the water coming out of it. Negative 27.3. If that thing says negative 20, oh, there it is, negative 27.4, we've got it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we finally got it, yes! Oh, that's all we need. Now the question is, is this enough water going to all the systems for them to take showers and shit and shave and all that good stuff? Is it? That's something we'll, we'll, we'll only know what time. We'll only know what time. But I mean, it's coming in at what, 41 degrees? Like, we could even increase the pressure going through. But yeah, this is good. This is good. I would I would call this, for the most part, pretty much resolved. Tiny little tweaks here and there, but this is resolved. Like, yeah. So, no more super hot water, uh, chilling in the pipes, warming up the surrounding area, despite it being an insulated pipe, doesn't matter. Like, it's still gonna radiate slowly. Um, we have super ice cold air coming out of, you know, wherever it's needed. So here it is, 36 degree air just chilling in there. Oxygen just ready to go. Um, 250 was already not enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we see, I see it depleting here. Uh, we'll, we'll have to make adjustments accordingly, but I mean, we have the room to do that now, right? So let's just make like 300. Because, I mean, like, what's it coming out at again? It's coming out at uh, 48 degrees. So yeah, if it comes out at, we're just going to update in a second here. 66 degrees. So what, right? So if that's enough, then we're good. And as long as this continues to go up, which I think even with this amount, it's probably fine. Negative 28 degrees. This is at 10x speed, I think, by the way. Oh, there it is. Negative 28.1. Good. So, yeah. Uh, even at 300. Which is more than we had before. We might we might be fine. So this is just this is just one of those like as as we go, we'll see if this is enough liquid to supply for the rest of the base. And and you know what? Like it's uh I think it's good. Oh, this water over here is hot as fuck. What is this? Oh, for the bottler. Ooh, gross. <laughs> Oh man, we built this stupid fridge how long ago? We didn't turn it on? Ah, uh, kaboom. What? Dang it! Skittles! Thank you so much for 34 months, Skittles! <laughs> oh man. Alright, we're good. We're good. So here's 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 the things that we need to do next. So we have some hot water coming up through here, which is is completely unnecessary. It's just adding heat to this room. Um I think what we should do is let's give it a second to catch up. Good. Uh, I see there's a bridge here that goes up to this and goes all the way up to all this nonsense and all that stuff. I think that's fine for the most part, but I think what we need to do is add a couple insulated here and here. And then probably, oh, we can't really add a thing there, so we'll have to leave that open, uh, which means it's not gonna be a recreational room. What is this pipe doing that's open? Oh, there's no, nothing going to it. Oh, 
And then what we'll do is we're going to run pipe this way. Because... Yeah, I don't really see a reason for it to go... What does this go to? Like, what is this? This goes up to the stupid thing. We don't need this anymore. This So this is just basically just radiating heat. Like I said, just radiating tons of heat. Uh, we could run this thing up. And then, I guess we should just, you know, maybe we should just replace this shit with, with insulated. Just be done with it. Because it's, it's abyssalite, so I didn't want to mess with it, but you know what? If we could just run, if we could run pipe through it, and not have to worry about heat coming from pipes, then I think we'll be good. So, like, we'll take this up, and we'll just leave that right there. We're gonna kill this. We don't need any of this. Just basically adding heat to the base. I don't see how that's coming into play over there. But we'll leave that alone. We'll cut this out. It's gonna make a mess everywhere. Good. What does this even go to? Oh, this plant? What the heck? Cut all this shit out. Cut all of it out. What is this? Water! <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Need more water. For not letting me type a message or anything, I said 20 seconds left on the end! Uh, well, Skittles, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, you're awesome! <laughs> Thank you, Skittles. Um... What the fuck is this loop, man? What is this loop even for? It goes back to what? This whole thing needs to be redone. We gotta redo all this stuff. I don't, I don't see where this water is going to, other than looping back on itself. So, I'm gonna cut it. I'm trying so hard to understand what, why, why this is here. I don't see it. This I understand here. This, this is, this totally makes sense. And actually, there's a better way to do this. We could just... Bring it over and then up, and then cut this. There we go. Now we're not having a. Now we don't have this huge line of of uh, pipe just leaving heat all over the place. Oh, by the way, look, we're not. We don't really have enough here, so we'll have to make some adjustments to that accordingly. Damn you, pass Mike. No, pass Mike, man. This is, I, yeah, actually, no. What is he thinking? <laughs> no, you're right. Actually, yeah. What the. I don't- I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Where's this water going to? This is two- two jumps, and that's going back into this- Is this the same- okay, it's supplying this. But also, so is this. So yeah, I don't see a reason for having any of this, actually. Maybe it made sense at some point in time, because I was trying to relieve pressure, which is something that makes sense. It makes sense to try to relieve pressure this way. There we go. And then bloop, that comes out. In there, okay. Ooh, we're so close though, man. We're so close. <laughs> we're so close. <laughs> it's gotta be just like just the tiniest bit of uh of change there, but I think that I, I would call this pretty much done outside of fine-tuning. And then, I mean, really, the rest of the base is gonna just start cooling off of this. Like, it's gonna start cooling. Obviously, we're gonna have an issue on this side because of this heat over here. Uh, but, yeah. It's gonna start cooling. Nicely. This, I mean, down here, wow, it's already kind of cold. 76 degrees. This is, so this, th this is one of the next things that we're gonna do. We're gonna put, uh, we have to get our thermostats in. So, I have, a, I already have my list, thermostats. Matter of fact, let me look at my list. Let me see, I have, uh, collect natty gas. That... It's done. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and do this. This is the end of the week wrap up here. Uh, so collect natty gas. We're good there. Uh, swap tile for airflow. We did that. Uh, move gas pump. Did that. Make more steel. Did that. Hey, look at that. One. Done. Next. <laughs> uh, expand downward. Rewire everything. Coal hydro. Okay. Yep. We didn't do any of that. <laughs> we didn't do any of the power stuff. We we did come up with some new power things in other areas that I didn't like think of doing until we start playing. But uh but yeah. 
Let's see, oxygen generators. Uh, find mod that works. Thermostat, stat, Atmos vents. So we did uh, Atmos vents. We did that one. Uh, we did find a mod that works. Now we just need thermostat. So thermostat is tomorrow. Food. We didn't do anything food related. <laughs> so we'll leave that up. Hey, all right. Boy. Yeah, so you were tomorrow Mike today. It seems I was. Tomorrow Mike did a good job. At getting all this stuff wrangled, like taking care of it, I think. 